Thank you, um, Alex, for the kind introduction, and good morning to everyone here in the room and those on the webcast. As Alex mentioned, Transamerica has contributed strongly to the group's financial performance. After right-sizing and transforming the organization, now is the time to invest in modernization and pivot to growth. In sum, Transamerica is at an inflection point of accelerating growth. In the next 20 minutes, we will take a brief look back at what the U.S. promised and, importantly, what we delivered. Then we will spend the majority of our time together looking forward to where we go from here. Let's quickly review what has been delivered over the last three years. In 2016, we introduced our five-part plan to accelerate delivery of our 2018 targets. We have successfully executed on the plan, which encompassed enforced management, do business and revenue, optimizing the portfolio, location strategy, and efficient organization. We have listed here some of our key achievements with more details available in the slide deck for the breakout meetings. I will now walk you through our progress on the 2018 targets. Starting with operating, adjusted operating expenses, our end of 2018 goal was for run rate savings of $300 million which I will remind you was a doubling from our initial goal of 150 million. As of the first half of 2018, we had achieved 277 million, but as Alex mentioned, we will most likely fall somewhat short of the 300 million target. Having said that, as Alex indicated in his presentation, due to actions elsewhere in the group, group targets will be met, the full 350 million euro will be delivered. Transamerica's contribution to the 350 million approximates 70% of overall group savings. Moving on to reduction in IFRS capital allocated to the runoff businesses, we have exceeded the target with allocated capital declining by 1.3 billion since the end of 2015. This was largely driven by dispositions in 2017 and 2018 which resulted in 850 million dividends to the group. Next is normalized capital generation. Our goal was 1 billion, but we we're expecting 1.1 billion for 2018, which again represents about 75% of capital generation from all of Aegon's units. In his presentation today, Transamerica CFO McKeel van Kutwijk will provide a deeper look at capital generation as well as a look forward at our future expectations. Our final target is return on capital, and it is one that we are especially proud of. We achieved our end of 2018 target of 9% two quarters early, reaching that milestone in the second quarter of this year. Looking at our ROC progression, Successful execution on our five-part plan and other initiatives has resulted in sequential year-over-year -year improvement. As Alex mentioned, we have increased ROC by 250 basis points since 2015. Going forward, we expect earnings to continue to trend upwards in line with new business growth, which will be balanced with, by investments in the new business, while capital is expected to remain roughly stable as a result of a high remittance ratio. As Alex mentioned in his presentation, since 2010, Transamerica has remitted more than $13 billion to the group. This is my management team. They've achieved a lot, and they're happy. With that brief look back at what Transamerica has accomplished, we now turn to our strategy for the future. In sum, now is the time to invest in modernization and for the company to pivot toward growth. Transamerica's purpose is to help people save, invest, protect, and retire, and to be relevant throughout the lives of our customers and our advisors. We connect with our customers through the workplace, through offering individual products, and we deepen and broaden our customer relationships through the offering of advice, guidance, and education. Our strategy in the workplace is to stand out with compelling brand narrative and integrated solutions. You will hear more in the upcoming slides about our wealth and health strategy, <clears throat> excuse me, which is competitively distinctive from the financial wellness programs and initiatives now commonplace among our peers. 
Our integrated solutions include offering bundled pricing when plan sponsors choose to include both Transamerica's Retirement Plan Administration and voluntary benefits. This is a market first. We are the only company to have a platform that contains both, and this program has been already improved in 43 states. We'll talk more about this in the breakouts. In individual, we are investing in growth through the launch of innovative products and more comp competitive pricing across a range of customer solutions. In advice, guidance, and experience, our strategy is to maximize the value of the initial sale for Transamerica as well as our customers, thus building loyalty and increasing Transamerica's relevance throughout our customers' lifetimes. Market drivers have led to changes across the value chain, and the pace of change is accelerating. I will highlight a few of these for you now. The regulatory envi environment is evolving and evolving quickly, but I want to emphasize that we support an enhanced standard of care and greater fee transparency, as we believe that's how we can best serve our customers' needs. As is true across industries, in our marketplace, Maintaining a competitive edge requires investment in technology. The benefits, though, are both significant and wide-ranging and encompass enhanced scalability, process optimization, and better overall customer experience. For example, use of data analytics can replace the outdated and onerous underwriting process that exists today. Additionally, rising interest rates are improving product economics and providing us opportunities to enhance overall customer value. We have already made product enhancements to our variable annuity and life insurance offerings, with more to come if interest rates continue to trend upward. In terms of customer demand, I can tie together both employers and individuals as there are common themes. Demand for personalized offerings, Pricing and recommendations all wrapped in an enhanced buying experience is as true for our industry as it is for many others. Finally, I will remind you of, of the increasing need for guaranteed income as more people, the baby boom generation, moves towards retirement. I remind you here that this is the only industry that can provide such guarantees and Transamerica is extremely well positioned to do so. These industry drivers and the evolving landscape require decisive moves to separate Transamerica from peers and position us for accelerating growth. Transamerica has responded with bold decisions and management actions, and we have a multifaceted modernization initiative in place to position us for sustainable growth. These include our partnership with TCS, successful simplification of our legal entity structure and product suite and our plan to build on our competitive strengths through leveraging data, innovation, and analytics. I will start with reminding you about our partnership with TCS, which was announced this past January. In the largest third-party administration and transformation transaction in U.S. history, we have successfully transferred the administration of our life and annuity business to TCS. More than 10 million policies will be serviced and administered by TCS, and new business will be written on the bank's platform. About 2,000 of our employees were transferred to TCS in April, and I'm pleased to share with you that 98% of our colleagues who were offered positions with TCS decided to join TCS. This ensures the quality and continuity of service to our Enforce customers. State-of-the-art administration systems are foundational to Transamerica's digital strategy. Partnering with TCS allows Transamerica to replace legacy administrative systems while positioning for how business will be done in the future. Doing something bold and different separates Transamerica from the pack. Using their bank's platform, TCS will take on the service and administration for Transamerica's life, annuity, supplemental health, and voluntary benefits business. Transamerica retains service and administration for our retirement plan administration business, IRAs, mutual funds, SVS, or synthetic GICs, and for our advice center. The ability to reduce expenses is an additional benefit for this partnership. We expect 70 million of annual expense savings initially, rising to 100 million over time. 
However, it is crucial to appreciate that our partnership with TCS is much, much more than delivering cost synergies. The TCS platform was a strategic decision significantly designed to accelerate our growth, allow us to enhance product development, reach the market more quickly than our competitors, while at the same time enhancing the experience with state-of-the-art technology and capabilities. The platform improves our speed to market and increases flexibility to make product changes in response to changing economic environments and the competitive landscape. The bank's platform also accelerates our ability to deliver an ex exceptional customer experience in a fully digital end-to-end -end format while providing a modern and secure infrastructure. While the expense savings are indeed an important element of the partnership with TCS, the key benefit is the ability to execute our digital strategy and accelerate growth. Investing in data and innovation and analytics is another aspect of our initiative to propel growth. We are designing for the future through far-reaching initiatives to modernize products, processes, and increase customer and advisor engagement. To focus on just two benefits we expect from our investments, in 2019, we'll be launching accelerated underwriting for life insurance driven by data and analytics. Underwriting modernization, which includes testing non-medical non data sources, will reduce throughput time, increase our policy placement rate while providing a customer-centric experience. Secondly, process optimization will spotlight opportunities to further reduce expenses throughout our company. You'll learn more about this in our breakouts with Blake Boswick, our Chief Operating Officer, and David Montgomery, Head of Individual Operations. I'm going to move on to our brand proposition, where Transamerica is leading the industry with a competitively distinctive brand narrative. The link between wealth and health is undeniable. The bottom line is that health issues can have an enormous impact on family finances. Healthcare costs are rising faster than incomes, people are living longer, and customers want a new breed of financial advisor while securing their future both financially and physically. Unlike the financial wellness initiatives that are now commonplace amongst our peers, Transamerica's brand positioning focuses on the intersection of wealth and physical well-being. By emphasizing the connection between physical and financial well-being, Transamerica is changing the conversation advisors are having with their clients and creating a differentiated experience for both customers and their advisors. You see here examples of our industry-leading content, thought leadership, and the advertising campaigns that we've invested in to reach the goal of our brand narrative. Creating an emotional connection with wealth and health <coughs> is key to our strategy going forward. You will hear more about our brand initiatives in the breakout meetings with Dave Paulson, our Chief Distribution Officer, and Frank Santasante, our Chief Marketing Officer. We are leveraging our distinctive wealth and health brand narrative to propel Transamerica's already solid competitive position. In the workplace, bringing together our resources under one Transamerica has facilitated an integrated strategy. In 2017, we appointed Scott Ramey as head of our workplace solutions with the mandate of leveraging positions to optimize competitive advantages. We are the only workplace provider to hold top 10 positions across this range of employer-facing businesses. We are similarly well positioned in individual solutions with top 10 positions across key products that meet customer needs. You will hear more about our plans to optimize our competitive positions in both workplace and individual during the breakout meetings with Joe Bone, Head of Sales, Phil Ekman, Head of Customer Experience and Advice, as well as Scott Ramey, Head of Workplace. <clears throat> we have broad initiatives to accelerate growth and provide you a range, here provide you a range of KPIs to track our progress going forward. Our growth initiatives encompass the workplace, advice, guidance, and experience. In the workplace, our strategy is to integrate offerings, maximize revenue, grow assets, and improve overall retention. Levers include driving penetration of managed advice within both Enforce DC and including managed advice in all new plan proposals. Our advice and guidance experience 
Our advice, guidance, and experience initiative revolves around strengthening customer relationships. We currently have 3.8 million of our more than 13 million customers receiving some sort of guidance or advice, and we view advice as a key to strengthening and broadening our customer relationships. Over the past five years, our advice center has posted a 35% compounded annual growth rate in IRA assets through rollovers and aggregating external accounts. In the individual market, our growth initiatives revolve around improving our already strong competitive position. We intend to accelerate our variable annuity sales via product enhancements and new launches and have, al and have already posted market share gains following product enhancements introduced in February and July. To propel individual sales, we will launch an innovative new indexed universal life rider in the WFG and brokerage channels. In addition, a reprice of our term life was released last month to improve our overall competitiveness. In sum, our starting position is solid and our initiatives are broad to seize the opportunity to accelerate growth. Finally, and to wrap up, we are at an inflection point of accelerating growth. We have made bold, decisive decisions to meet the challenges of the market. Modernization and simplification initiatives are now underway, and top 10 positions in core products allow credible positions upon which to enhance and grow our already strong position. I would now like to turn it over to Transamerica CFO, Mikhail von Kutfeik, to discuss how our strong capital position supports both growth and remittances to the group and positions us to generate sustainable shareholder value. Thank you.